or maybe I didn't. Hiya, um, I'm going to do this video about planning. Clearly I planned for this video, I have a mug of coffee which is what evidently all vloggers need. So first things first, you probably haven't noticed yet because um, there's only a tiny bit of it showing, but I have a pink bed now, well purple, purple pink, um, because I, I was having a fit of homesickness the other night and I chucked my pillow across the room and uh, this happened to my pillowcase. Um, so I had to go out and buy new pillow cases and I thought I'd go the whole hog and get new bedding entirely because my duvet was sort of wearing out too. And I thought I'd go bright colours because I have become a bright colours person since coming to university. But I've had those sheets for years and years and years and it just sort of got me thinking about all the other things I have had for years and years. For example, when I bought this coat, it was a size too big for me and I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I want to get it a size too big. And my mum said, no, do that. It's good to plan ahead. Um, she probably regrets saying this because I still have this coat. The first photographic outing of this coat that I can remember is actually a picture of me and you, Sean, uh, and it's in year eight. I've had this coat for at least seven years. So that was very good planning in buying that one. Possibly too good for my mother's like it. You and me both being literature students, we probably, I don't know if you get this note. I get this note. Spend more time planning your work and less time rushing ahead to write the essay, which is easier said than done if you have three hours to write three essays in an exam. Since coming to university, I have really worked on my planning skills, and that doesn't just apply to essays, of course, that also applies to time management. I am filming this video on Wednesday, even though I'm not supposed to do it until Thursday, because I have three essays which need to be written by Sunday evening. I have an odd hour here which isn't enough for me to do any actual work, but is enough for me to film a video and maybe even edit it if I get shifty on. So this is an example of me planning my time well. An example of me not planning my time well is um, accepting a job. You've probably heard about my new job because I got very excited that I actually had one. Um, I'm tutoring a 13 year old boy in French um, for an exam that he's taking at the end of the month. Um, which is all very well and good, and I'm actually really quite enjoying it, but um, it, it is taking up quite a lot of my time. It's his half term this week, so I've got extra sessions scheduled with him, and that means every time I have a session with him, I have to plan for that. It's an hour each time, but I probably spend more like an hour and a half too putting things together for him. I mean, that's partly just because I only started this job a couple of weeks ago and I, I still don't quite know what I'm doing. Uh, although I, I, I hope I'm being useful. But it does make me worry that perhaps I've become too focused on planning, that I spend too much time thinking about things and worrying about things rather than actually doing them. For example, last night I stayed up quite late, but then after that I couldn't get to sleep because I was worrying about my schedule for the next sort of five days. So on the one hand I'm feeling that I'm starting to get quite good at planning and on the other I'm starting to feel that I am doing too much of it and I really need to find a balance between that. Just as I did with this video, I had an idea for a topic but I didn't spend forever like planning it out to the last word because I don't have time to do that. And that is the end of my coffee which means it's time to stop filming and import footage. I said something at the beginning of the video which will only make sense now. 